Well, hello my friends. This is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband. I'm so glad that you are choosing to spend a few moments with me. I know I say that every time, but it's true every time. I mean every word of it. Tonight, I've gone and picked up a grocery order that Michelle did. Uh, Michelle is a very good shopper. Michelle and I are very traditional. I'm going to say that right up front. So, when I say something like this, what I'm going to say, I mean it, and I hope nobody else takes offense to it. If you do, I'm sorry. A man could not ask for a better wife than Michelle. She, she is a Proverbs 31 wife. There's just no getting around it. If you, if you know what I mean by that, then good. If you don't, go to Proverbs 31 in the Bible and read it and you'll see. Um, very grateful, very grateful. So yeah, I got a few things here. It, it was not a huge order. We're not up against a great big bunch of stuff. Michelle set a price, a, a budget, and she said, I'm going to shop and stay within it. So that's what she did. I want to address a couple of things. First off, I enjoy the comments we get, for the most part. Like any YouTuber, you get the odd comment once in a while that just gets erased. Uh, and in a lot of cases, most cases, Michelle sees them before I do and she tosses them aside. But I was reading some of the comments on the last video I put up and they made me smile. A lot of them were kind of heartwarming and I'm, I'm just grateful. Uh, I know you guys, a lot of you are feeling quite a pinch when it comes to food prices and yes, food prices, I don't know what that word was, yes, food prices are getting really ridiculous. Um, Michelle, as I said, is an extremely good shopper and I could never complain on that. But just a couple of the comments. I joked about hearing our vegetables starting to grow. And there was a couple of people that commented on farmers saying they could hear the corn grow. And I want to tell you something. I used to deliver to a place in Utica, Illinois. And I used to deliver there three times a week sometime. And in the summer when the corn was growing and this little terminal building was literally right in the middle of the cornfield all the way around on three sides it was surrounded by cornfields and then a road on one side and i would back into the, usually the same door and look out the corn right and you'd arrive there one time and it'd be three and a half feet tall the next time you'd back in, like um, two days later, you'd back in to be that much taller. And then two days later again, it'd be that much taller. And pretty soon, I kid you not, it would be higher than the cab of the truck. While you were sitting in the seat, you could not see over this corn. And it always amazed me at how fast it was growing. So, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, take a stalk of corn and twist it. It'll make a noise, right? take thousands of them literally growing and straining and and yeah you probably I would not doubt for a minute that you could hear corn growing just like you can hear a Ford rust on a quiet night did I say that out loud probably Michelle will take that out I'm kidding I'm kidding totally kidding anyway yes um, so there's that another person commented about pretty soon people aren't going to be able to afford to feed their pets. And you know what? That's a sad reality. It's really, I don't like to even think about it. But, uh, and yes, I have said many times that Michelle and I are extremely blessed. Uh, I work a job where I can choose to work a little bit harder and whatnot. I uh, can't work gross amounts because I have my stuff to do here and Michelle can't be left alone all the time but I have been working very close to 60 hours a week for weeks now and that helps 
drive my income up a bit to kind of offset some of this stuff. For people that are living on a fixed income, for people with large families, we have one woman comment about having four children and saying it was extremely expensive to feed them and trust me, I feel for you. You can't deny your kids food, they're growing, they need it, right? So something's gotta give somewhere, it has to be tough. It has to be tough to feed children. And the comment was that the girls eat as much as the boys. I have no doubt, I have no doubt. But you wanna feed them, you wanna feed them good quality food, it costs a lot of money. So you have my sympathy and you'll be in my prayers. Uh, as for the pets, Michelle will put the price of this up. I don't know what it costs right off, but this is one of the things we picked up today. And I know I bought Noah a bag of his dog food last weekend, and it was $17, and it's just been jig time. It was $11 or $12. So it's gone up exponentially too. I had mentioned, I believe, in, a, in the last video, that a case of the cans of food that I used to buy him that were $29 the last time I bought it are now $39. So that's a, a huge increase, 33% technically, if you do the percentages. So I'm hearing that those prices are like that everywhere. And there's no sign of it letting up. Now, I know also, or I'm getting ahead of myself, Prices of the pet food are astronomical, but extremely impoverished countries, they don't have pets. So anyway, um, if you're on a fixed income, I would certainly, I would certainly feel bad for you because I know it can be pretty tough. Yes, there's ways you can save money and our pets are still a little spoiled. I mean, the cat eats cat food, but Noah eats a lot of our food and whatnot. So at any rate, I guess I'm rambling. Um, just know that I do appreciate your comments. I read them and uh, sometimes I'll back through them, make sure I didn't miss anything but uh, or miss anyone. But keep commenting, I appreciate it. Now I'll uh, take a few moments and show you what we got here. So stay tuned. Okay, some of you might wonder why you always see these these Clorox wipes sitting here. Michelle, when she comes out at lunchtime to get her lunch, if she's putting something in the microwave or the air fryer, she'll take one or two of them and she just wipes the fridge and microwave, anything, any handles, you know. She just kind of makes herself busy for a couple of minutes while she's making her lunch. That's why they're always there and they, they always will be out just simply for ease of use for her, if anybody ever wondered. Uh, she bought just one box of these for now. Ordinarily, she would get a couple, I think, with the last time or two, we've got a couple, three, a couple or three. She just got one this time because she had set a, a limit and she didn't want to exceed it. We have a green pepper. We will be cooking this weekend. And using that, well, actually, we're going to make lasagna for next week's meals. And we're going to make two small ones, one for the freezer and one for next week. And a bag of onions. We, as I have said before, use a lot of onions. She just got one ground beef here. Sun, or the light reflecting on it. Not the sun, I guess, but just she just got one today. For that same reason, she wants to wanted to stay under her limit there. This cheese, I believe, was on sale. This is the the stuff that I like the most, and I'll take two or three ounces of it in my lunch. And then she picked up a package of these, and you know what? They were eleven dollars. They probably still are. And you know what? They are getting to the edge of what I'm going to be willing to pay for them. They're good, but. She got two of these pie crusts. Now we can have a recipe and I have made really nice pie crust, but these are just so simple and they're not that expensive. So she got two of them. Uh, she has an idea for a little meat pie. I think it's a meat pie that she wants to make. So, and if we do make them, there'll be a video 
hopefully, on them. So that's what they're for. She got five of these. And if you'll remember, not too long ago, I bought a flat of these. And guess what? I have eaten the whole flat. So she just got five there tonight. Uh, maybe pretty soon anyway. They're 36 cents a piece today. And when I bought the flat, they were 27 cents a piece. I don't know whether we'll see that price again or not. But next time when she says the budget allows, I'm going to grab a flat of them. I love them. And two liters of this milk. It's the lactose-free stuff, so she can tolerate it if we use it in our baking and stuff. Um, and I like it, too. So we just got that, and she'll put the price up for that. Two of these luncheon meats. These are the ones that for so long were $1.97 a can, and now they're $2.47. So they did have a... Well, not three full uh, cases of them. And there's 24 in a, in a flat of them, I believe. And they had like two and a half. I just grabbed two of them. I went in the store and I grabbed two. I'd pick up this, actually. Almond butter for Michelle. Uh, those protein balls that we made. That's what she used in the ones for her. And she'll eat it on toast and stuff like that. She got two packages of these. Now, I'm not sure if they're back to the regular price or not. They have been on the big famous Walmart rollback for $2.97. And I think they're ordinarily about three and a half or maybe more. But anyway, she got two of them. I did some of these in my lunch as well. She got two dozen eggs. And she'll have to tell you what the price of them are at this point. We got one loaf of the baker's bread there. And also, she got one bag of these sweet potato fries. We like them quite well. And they are 454 grams, and for our American friends, that is one pound. Now, she got these, and she said she didn't order them. So that was a mistake. I have called Walmart before when they give us food that we did not order. And they said either keep it or throw it out because if you bring it back here, we have to throw it out. Makes sense because there's a lot of crazy people around that would poison that or do something to it and then take it back, right? So they just can't. It would be illegal, I think, for them to, to keep it. And then she got me two bottles of distilled water for my CPAP machine. Wish I didn't have to use it, but hey helps me sleep and then we needed more bleach and this little one was all they had in stock today so she got that one now down here is a case of her pop and actually two of the two cases of the pop that I drink that is my only vice really so I'm not gonna give it up too soon if I don't have to and then once again the cat food that we purchased and the cat litter so that stuff is getting pretty expensive as i said that uh litter is pretty expensive but it really does work well and i guess that's how we justify it so uh we had had several cases of it ahead and then of course uh you don't buy for a while and then that's the only case we have. So probably if she gets one every grocery, if she, if she decides to, then we'll have two or three on hand. There's been a few things that we haven't bought much lately and probably soon we'll start again. I said in an earlier video as well that we are trying to use up some of our food store and the things that we are going to stock up on are the non-perishables things that will last for a long time but cost a lot of money i'm not convinced at all we're out of the woods i heard on the radio just this morning that home sales in canada have absolutely plummeted that was the term but people on the radio are always trying to be dramatic but that's what they said 
it's reported the numbers are in now and last month home sales in Canada have absolutely plummeted. That would be because interest rates and stuff like that. One third of the experts in the United States are saying that there's still a chance that you guys in the US will experience a recession in 2023. Now wrap your head around that. It must be nice to live in a world where the sky is the color that obviously theirs is because I don't need to say any more, I guess. So, um, buckle up, it could still be a rough ride, right? Uh, I know I mentioned about the big Silicon Valley Bank failure. There was one in New York, I forget what it was called, happened last weekend as well. Uh, Janet Yellen is saying your banking institutions are all perfectly safe. Joe Biden's promising to bail everybody out. What do we say? Uh, that takes money and where does government get money? They don't get any money unless they take it from people that earn money. So it could be a rough ride, but at any rate, I don't want to be too much of a negative Nelly here. Uh, just prepare. And if you have friends and neighbors that, that aren't preparing, look out for yourself first. God is good. God is in control. Nothing's outside of his plan. But anyway, join me on my other channel and we'll talk more about that. But at any rate, uh, thank you very much for watching. The plants are doing awesome. Uh, maybe I'll just take a quick video. Uh, most everything has grown except spinach. I've had to change out some spinach seeds. I think we got a bad batch here. And Michelle told me about the wrong kind, so I'll have to go and get the right kind and plant them as well. But anyway, uh, if you've watched this far, thank you very much. Uh, comments, concerns, let us know. And we'll see what we can do. So thank you very much for watching. It's Kevin, the Homemaker Husband, saying God bless and bye for now.